Stand up. We're gonna bow in. Everybody stand up, good. Facing the flags. Now, the reason why I say get your feet together is sometimes people bow like this. We wanna make sure that we bow properly with our feet touching. I think you guys are doing that. I like the way I see the feet that I can see on screen are all touching, that's beautiful. All right, so the feet together, everybody up. Come now. Yeah. Oh. And then to me, feet together, Jody up. Come at it. Yeah. All right, let's start out with our hands out to the side. Wiggle your fingers, big wide arms, and relax. And go straight up. Stretch your fingertips up, up, up. If you can go up on your toes and balance, do that. But if it's going to make you fall over, just stay on your feet and relax. Take one hand over, reaching toward the wall, and relax. And the other side, reaching over the wall, toward the wall, and relax. Hands up once more, and lean, look up at the ceiling, stretching, looking back, don't fall over, and relax. Arms up to the side. I want your hands, your palms are going to be up. Wiggle your fingers. Try to reach your hands a little bit behind you, but keep your arms straight. And now bring your hands to the gently. No thumb yet. And apart. And now clap. And apart. And clap. And relax. Shake it out. Sitting down on the floor. Put the bottoms of your feet together. Let them relax to the side. Lean forward. Let your knees relax. The bottoms of your feet should be together, Olivia. We're not crisscrossed right now. We've got the bottoms of our feet together so that we can stretch the insides of our legs. Good, thank you. And now, stretch both your legs in front. Wiggle your toes, wiggle your feet, point your toes, keep your legs straight, point your toes straight up in the air, and now point your toes forward, and straight up, keep those, those legs straight, and bring your hands to your toes, bring your toes back toward your hands, don't bounce, just hold, good, and relax. Bring your hands up over your head and stretch toward your feet. And relax and bring your hands up over your head. Stretch toward your feet. And relax. And one more time for good luck. Stretch up in the air. Stretch forward to your toes. And hold two, three, four, five. And relax. Now let's take the bottoms of our feet again. Put the bottoms of your feet together and flap your wings and rest and flap your knees and rest. And now put one leg straight and put your chest onto the bent knee. your chest to the straight line. Kind of do, set, neck. Now to the bent line once more. One, two, three, four. And now the straight line. Kind of do, set, neck. And up. Switch your legs. Once more, chest to your bent knee. One, two, three, four. And up, down to your straight leg. And up, do, set, bend. And up, down the bent leg. And up, do, set, bend. And up, and down to the straight leg. And up, do, set, bend. And up. Now I want you to take one leg and bring it behind you. Stretch the top of your leg here, the top of your thigh. And up, do, set, neck. And 
switch your legs, so you can have that other leg in the back. Kind of do, set, neck. And you, let's come up, either kneel or sit crisscross, whatever is more comfortable for you. Put your hands out in front. Wiggle your fingers. When you make your hands go in circles. Bring your elbows in circles. Bring your arms in circles. Now take your arms and go put your arms in the other direction. And now keep your arms still, just go bend at the elbows. In that same direction, now adjust your hands, bending at the wrist. Fingers. Put your hands up like this. Make a fist, nice tight fist. And now make a knife hand. And now a fist. Squeeze. One, two, three, four. And relax. Now make a knife hand. Make a fist. Is that what you were saying? 
Great, I saw you were talking. So the important thing with front kick is getting your knee up. If I've got an opponent over there, and I don't pick up my knee, then I'm kicking down here. Once I pick up my knee, then, oh, now we're talking. All right, so now that we know we want to pick up our knee, let's do fighting stance turn. And now we're going to do our kicks back, making sure to pick up the knee really well. Ready, and, ha-da! Do. Set. Net. And the fighting stand. 
it's turn. Good job, guys. Now, stepping forward. Low block. Hana. Do. Set. Net. Check your other hand. Is it by your belt? The other hand should be by your belt. Look here. Good. Oh, very good. Fighting stance turn. Now going back, remember, keep your other hand by your belt, the one that's not blocking. Hana. Do. Set. Net. Fighting stance turn. Now it's a high block. Hana. Do. Set. Net. Oh, I like your crossing and blocking. Keep crossing and blocking, that's very important. Fighting stance turn. Hana. Do. Set. Net. Fighting stance turn. Now it's middle block. So we're going to do the middle block in the walking stance first. Hana. Do. Set. Stance turn. Hana. Do. Set. Net. Fighting stance turn. Now we're going to do low block, then the reverse punch. From your fighting stance, stepping forward. Low block, punch. Hana. Do. Low block. Stance turn. Bill, are you with us? Good. Low block, then a punch. Hana. Do. Set. Net. Fighting stance turn. Now, high block, then the reverse punch. Ready? You with us? Good. All right, let me see your fighting stance. Bear, can I see your fighting stance? Oh, good, I like that, yes. High block, then a punch. Hana! Block, punch. Do! Set. Net. Fighting stance turn. Hana! Do! Stance turn. Middle block, then a punch. Hana. Block, punch. Do. Set. Net. Fighting stance turn. Hana. Do. Set. So that's really good. I like that I've seen that. Let's put some steps with the kicks. The ones that you didn't do earlier, we save them. We're going to put them with the kick. So we're going to step front kick. Ready? On your spot. Five minute stands. And step front kick. Ha! Good. Do. Wait for the count. Set. That's right, Vera. Let's do a fighting stance turn because we're running out of space. And hana. Step. Kick. Do. Set. Fighting stance turn. Sometimes that's easier to do when you can still see. You can 
still see me to make sure you're doing it right? Let's do a little bit more, but we're just gonna go up to the screen so you can keep watching. Ready, step and kick. Hana. Step, kick. Good. Do. Set. And now just run back to your spot. And give you fighting stance. Good. Now, we did all that with the left leg. So we've got a switch beat. So I want you to switch the leg that you did not kick with. Make sure you're going to go with that one. Now it's step with the other leg and kick. Ready. Hana. So just one kick, step, and then kick with the other leg. Do. So what did I say? The important thing with the front kick is remember to pick up your knee. That's the up and out. So set, step, kick. All right, now back to your starting spot. Remember, stay with that same kicking leg. Don't switch legs on you. We're just gonna make sure, usually we start with the leg that works better for us. I wanna make sure you work with both so that both of your legs are awesome. Ready, fighting stance. Step and kick, Hana. Do. Set. Good. So this is not an easy kick, and you guys are doing a great job with it. I know it's not the first time you've done it, but I think it's really coming along with the practice that we've had. So I like to see that. Let's go back to the starting spot. We have a couple more things to do. Left leg for fighting stance. Jump. All right. Now I want to see L stance and knife hand strike. That's the one that's like this. It comes across. Or if I'm going toward the camera, it goes across. Ready. And with my count. Hana. Do. Set. Then. Fighting stance turn. Hana. Do. Set. Stance turn. Now we're going to do the L stance punch. Ha! Do. Set. Net. Fighting stance turn. So your hands should be in a fist. You're now punching. Ready. Ha! Do. Set. Net. Fighting stance turn. So I want everybody to come up to the camera again. I want you to show me. Let's start with fist, because I know everybody's doing good with their fist. Let me see your fist. Excellent. Can I see yours, LaVere? The camera's over here. Yeah, let me see. A little bit more. There we go. Beautiful, everyone's doing great. Let me see the other hand. Good, good, good. Everybody's doing great. Now, can you show me your knife hand? So, it can be as simple as this. So, Lavere, again, over where you had the fist, excellent. All right, so what we don't wanna do is anything like this because these things, these, the fingers can get hurt. Now let's do the other hand. So let me see your other knife hand. Nice, very good. Ooh, yes, Ariana's got the nice fold in of the thumb. Some people like to do that. Some people put it on the side here. The main thing is you just don't want it, if I turn it sideways, you don't want it sticking out, whatever you do, whether you fold it in or have it up on the side, you just don't want it sticking out so that if you're sparring, it doesn't catch on anything and all your fingers feel just as happy as they are right now. That's good work, guys. So let me see your patterns. Let's start with four direction block, all right? So go to your starting spot. Ready, and sit down. All right, so Ariana, that, you had a block all along, but you finished with a punch, so you know that this one should be a block. Right, Ariana? Yeah, because you had all the other ones that way. You had it correct. All right, everybody, pro. Let me see that again. I like what I'm seeing. Ready? So remember, if it's four direction block, all you do is block. 
It's when you do four direction punch that you mix punches and blocks. Ready, everybody's got B. And C jump. Very good, and paro. I think that second one was even better than the first one. So, Lavir, for you, when you test, I don't know when you're testing, but when you do test, you don't need to know a pattern yet, not till you have the yellow stripe. So everything you're learning with the patterns is extra. You're doing advanced stuff, so congratulations, that's good. All right, now, how many people know Four Direction Punch, too? Rick does, I believe Ariana and Vera do, don't you? Yeah, okay, let me see Four Direction Punch also, okay? All right, ready, and see John. Beautiful, and come back, Paro. Good, let me see that again. Take your time. Finishing quickly isn't, isn't what you wanna do, you wanna do it correctly. So the same way, I could play the piano and I could play Happy Birthday in five seconds, but people can't put all the words in when they sing along, and so I need to play it slow enough. Same thing with Taekwondo, you need to do it slow enough that you can complete everything. So ready, four direction punch. To me and see ya. That's right, and Paro, very good, guys. Um, Vera, you are working on the first half of Chanji. How is that coming? Can you want to show me? Do you remember? Can you point which way do you go first? Do you remember? That way. Okay. Can I see the first half of Chanji? If anybody else wants to join in, you can absolutely do that. Ready, Vera? Sija. Very good. I like that. All right, come back to Jimbi. Let me see that again. And Sija. Oh. All right. We have time for a little game of Sabam Says. So if you stand up and you're ready to go, we can play Sabam Says. All right, looks like everybody's ready. All right. And Sabam Says, flap your wings. Big, big giant bird flapping wings. Sabam Says, soar. So when a bird soars, they don't flap. It's that certain birds have wings that can allow them to soar without, they just fly on the wing. Sabum says, make like a fish. Fish have fins on the top to help them steer. Now Sabum says, make fish fins in the back. So some fish have fins kind of like legs that they switch to help them move. Sabum says, make a fish this way. Some fish move their whole body side to side to go. And that's how snakes move forward too. And Sabum says, make like a shark. And sharks have a fin at the, at the top, as we all know. And sharks have some shark songs that they sing sometimes, or baby shark songs that they sing sometimes. Some of them says make whiskers like a cat. And cats use their whiskers like bugs use antenna. It's not quite as sensitive as a bug, but if they feel something on their whiskers, they know something's up. Some of them says make ears like a puppy dog. Some puppy dog's ears flop down, some stick up, and you can have whatever puppy dog ears you like. Now, some of them says, make giant ears like an elephant. 
Elephants have big ears to cool themselves off on hot days and they fan themselves with their ears like this. And let's see, some says make, make a long neck like a giraffe. And giraffes have long necks to eat the tops up high in the trees. Sabam says tiptoe like a big cat, maybe like a leopard or a lion or a tiger. And now, what other animals? Sabum says make a trunk like an elephant. Very good. Sabum says, oh, clap like a seal. Ooh. Very good. Sabum says, relax, the game is over. You guys did a fantastic job. I love playing animals. Animals are so much fun. They're so interesting. We do not have any tips today. So we are done. If any, does anybody have any questions before we go? Ariana has a question. Go ahead. In nine times three, when your hand is on your belt, is it in a fist or is it like? That's a this? very good question. That's a very smart question. It is in a fist. So you have one hand open and one hand closed which is what makes knife hand strikes so difficult because as you step forward, you have to switch. One's open, one closed, and you switch, and that's not easy to do. Vera, you had a question. Did I tell you something? I'm sorry? Did I tell you something? Yes, you can. I've lost two teeth. Oh, <gasps> so cool. You are special. Rick, you had your hand up. What was your question? My question is, how do you, how does your foot actually go back in the backwards front? Can you turn your finger or your foot goes in the back of your foot? So, turns? and so, also, do you step front or step back? So with the turning kick, your foot is, you're hitting usually with the top of the foot? No, the, no, the backwards turning kick. Oh, you mean a reverse turning kick, the one that goes like this? Like that? Yes. That one you're hitting with the back of your heel. So, because you're, I, I don't know how your foot would turn around otherwise. This way, because I can't do it very slowly. Master Nini's great at doing it slowly. But as you come around, there's a balance here to try to go slowly. It's the back of your, your heel. Uh, not the part that touches the floor when you walk, but the, the part that's in the back of your shoe comes across. And there's actually, if you feel the back of your heel, let me see if I can back up so you can see my foot. Back here, there's a bone that sticks out. And if you hit somebody with it, that would hurt. And that's kind of the idea behind this kick. Okay. All right. Any other questions? If, if not, we'll bow out. Okay. So let's everybody stand up. Turn and face the flags. Put your feet together. Chilly up. Turn that. Yeah. Oh. Facing me. Chilly up. Turn that. Yeah. Side one. Hi. And our head string today is Vera. So facing Vera, Chariat, Kyonga, Taekwon. Thank you, and I love your Taekwondo questions. Those were fantastic questions, guys. Have a good evening.